folks. So I've decided to upgrade my sim racing steering wheel and pedals. Now this G29, uh, which is my existing wheel, uh, served me well over the past two or three years. Um, it's a great set, a great entry entry set for sim racers. However, I felt, you know, I'm getting more and more into my sim racing now and I just felt there was a need to kind of upgrade a little bit just to get a bit more feeling in the steering and, and particularly in the brake. So I did a whole lot of research, considered a whole lot of brands, um, thinking about what my budget was. I definitely wanted something which I could enter into a kind of ecosystem where I can upgrade things like the actual steering wheel or the or the uh, the pedals and not have to look at upgrading the base unit. I considered all the usual suspects, uh, Fanatec, Thrustmaster, and the one that I have decided to go for is the Thrustmaster T300 RS GT edition. So this just arrived uh, about half an hour ago. It's not even out of the box yet. Um, looking forward to getting it out and setting it up. So what I thought I would do as I'm going through that process, um, taking it out of the box, getting it attached, um, having a little shot of it in some of my favourite sims like ACC and Assetto Corsa and uh, Automobilista 2. I'm just going to shoot little snippets of video as I go along and I'm going to edit them together um, and give you my thoughts, maybe over the sort of first week or two, um, how I'm getting on with the new wheel and compare it to my old one, my, my Logitech G29. So I'm going to unbox it now. Uh, I won't bother showing you that. There's loads of unboxing videos of this wheel on YouTube. So the next you'll see, uh, I'll hopefully have it all attached. Um, I've ordered a GT Omega um, stand, which I think is hopefully arriving later today or tomorrow. So I may have it attached to my desk for a while. Uh, eventually it'll be attached to my GT Omega stand as well. Okay. So you can see uh, that I've got the, the wheel base and the pedals out in the box. Um, and I've attached the wheel, uh, which is fairly easy to do on the uh, detachable collar here. You just have to tighten it up and there's a little um, locating screw just to tighten it further. So literally a two minute job if you want to change um, the actual rims. The, the wheel itself, uh, fantastic quality, lovely, lovely action on the gear changers, plenty of buttons, two at the top, two at the bottom, the usual four face uh, numbers labelled for PlayStation really. One down here, one here, and a couple on the base as well. So plenty of opportunities for um, customising your, your controls in different sims. I did try it attached to my desk uh, with the, the supplied thing that bolts underneath and it kind of clamps underneath your desk and there's a big tightening bolt. It works well. I mean, it was rock solid. Uh, we would have been fairly happy to continue that way, but I just didn't fancy having to take it on and off my desk all the time. You know, if I wanted to do some photo or video editing, I didn't want the wheel right in front of me. So I decided to go with uh, a GT Omega stand, which arrived the same day as the, as the wheel and pedals. I'm not going to say too much about the stand just now because I'm going to do a separate video review on that. But suffice to say, I am well impressed with the uh, the GT Omega um, classic stand here. Um, really nice and rigid once everything's mounted and quite easy to sort of fold up and transport from room to room. You know, I've got a, a PC here in my what I call my office at home. Um, I might soon have two PCs in here, maybe a dedicated sim racing one. And then I've got the PS4 in the living room. So, you know, sometimes I like to you know, drive in things like Gran Turismo or whatever. So it's easy for me to cart this whole kit and caboodle through uh, without any great hassle. The pedals, again, I've not really tried things in anger yet. Uh, all I've done is, is attached it to this, uh, this GT Omega stand. So the pedals certainly look and feel fantastic. Um, 
plastic body as you'd expect, but lovely steel, brushed steel pedals. There's a little mod thing you can put in the back of the brake pedal to, to give it a little conical rubber mod to, to give some extra kind of feeling on your brake pressure. I'll try that out and report back. Um, but as I say, at the moment, it's literally out the box uh, just a couple of hours ago and took me and my wife a wee while <laughs> to build up the, uh, the GT Omega stand and it's just attached. So I, I've yet to even try it in a sim. So that's the next step. And that'll be the next part of this video. Here we are then, folks. All set up. Ready to try for the first time. And uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione all fired up and ready. So let's go and try it out on that. And I'll, I'll capture the game footage and my thoughts as we go along. Okay, so here we are at um, Misano. Um, the only reason I've chosen Mizano is because that is where my E-Seniors League is racing this week, so I'm, I've been practicing about this circuit, I'm fairly familiar with it. So I, literally I've um, connected the wheel up, that's it, I've uh, not, not tried it at all, this is the first time, so you're going to hear my live reaction um, as I do a, a couple of laps maybe um, between the old G29 and the T300 RSGT. Uh, interestingly, no CD driver in the box. Uh, I found that a bit odd. Maybe they just forgot to put it in. So, not a big deal. I uh, went to the Thrustmaster website, downloaded it. So, got the drivers installed. I've not touched the driver settings at all. I've just left it at defaults. Um, and likewise, in ACC, I've not really touched anything. I just went in to quickly check that it recognised the wheel, which it has. So let's take this out and see how we feel. Uh, what I'll do is I'll load in uh, safe preset. There we go. Okay. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Yep. Pedals all working nicely. All seems good. Yep. I won't really feel too much until I get out on the track. Um, Yeah, this is very nice. The, the wheel feels nice and weighty and so smooth. You know, the feedback coming in is so linear with, with the belt drive as opposed to the cogs in the G29. really feel the car loading up, going around corners. It does all feel a bit strange, which I expected. I guess it's a bit like that um, experience when you, you get a new car, or you take a car for a test drive in real life when you're thinking of buying it, and everything you know the wheel, you know you know all the controls, but everything just feels a little bit odd compared to what you're used to. And it'll take a wee while for your uh, for it to become second nature, shall we say. But oh yeah, this feels fantastic guys. Um, Feels like a real, a real step up from the G29. Not that I thought that was a bad wheel, but 
this is a different league. I slid a bit there and I could really, really feel the slide. Much more than on the G29. The uh, gear paddles are absolutely fantastic. Nice and large and a very satisfying click to them as you're going up and down. Yep. The pedals I would say are, are a definite improvement. Um, not as much of an improvement as the wheels, but there, there's an improvement to the G29. Uh, I feel that the brake, even without the the little modified uh, conical thing that you can attach to the back, has got a bit more spring pressure to it than the G29 pedal, so it's a bit easier to modulate your braking. Now, I'm not setting fast laps here because I'm talking to you as well, so that's not the point of this exercise. Having said that, I just set a personal best, so something something must be right about this wheel, eh? Yeah, very, very impressed in my first few laps on it. Um, I'm going to try maybe Ultimobilista 2 and um, Aceto Corsa, just another, another couple of little video snippets of them out the box, no tweaking just to see how it, how it feels. And then I'll keep updating this little um, playlist for all the popular sims as I start to play around with driver settings and uh, in-game settings and really get it kind of tuned to the way I like it. I like quite a heavy feeling wheel. Um, and it does feel heavy but I, I'm just wondering if it could go a little bit heavier. But yes, um, initial thoughts, very happy. The old G29 and Wheelstand Pro are up on eBay just now. I'll be sad to see them go, but somebody else will get the benefit. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Okay, that's it for ACC for the first time. Okay, folks, uh, we're out in Automobilista 2 now in the McLaren 720S at Mount Panorama, Bathurst. So the only change I've made after coming out of ECC was um, I went into the Thrustmaster driver and I increased the gain from the default 75% up to 100 um, just after feeling the the wheel could have done with a little bit more weight in ACC and I hadn't realised that when you install the driver it defaults to 75% so I will go back in and try it in ACC but I thought I'd bump it up to 100 and, and see what it's like in AMS2 here. And now I haven't fired this sim up for a wee while, it's been sitting on my hard drive. I've seen a few updates coming in on Steam uh, and I've read about a few updates, watched a few videos on uh, on YouTube about things that have been updated here and I keep thinking to myself well oh, I must go and revisit that again um, so here we are the perfect opportunity so again I, I'm not going to be setting hot laps here I'm just out to see what the force feedback is like so this is my first experience of AMS2 certainly a very pretty looking sim anyway Now the first thing I'm noticing is the road feel. 
which is excellent Neil. My, you can't see it but the wheel is shaking a little bit in my hand. Um, uneven road surface and I'm getting that through the wheel beautifully. Fantastic load going through that corner there in the wheel. I think bumping up the default gain in the driver has really made a, a bit of a difference there. Yeah, this feels really nice. And this is just the default um, force feedback in the MS2. I've not made any changes really, so immediately I'm very impressed with this. Yeah, the road surface is really coming through there. Rumble strip felt nice, caught the edge of that there. Mighty impressive, mighty impressive. go and download one of these and try it out or if you've got any recommendations leave them in the comments for a, for a T300 I mean this feels pretty good to me but if it can be any better I would love to try that but this is absolutely awesome wheel shaking away there loading up beautifully through the corner detail. There's lots of detail on the force feedback. I used to think the best I'd felt was on my old G29 was um, R-Factor 2 and this is pretty comparable to me on this new T300. I'm aware it's a different wheel obviously, but um, I must go in and try our factor too as well to see what this fe that feels like. But this is really great, really, really great. I mean, I've bumped the detail right up here, pretty much on uh, Ultra and everything, on my old i7-3700 and my uh, aging GTX 1650, 16, is it? Um, and I'm getting easily over 100 frames a second. So yeah, that's great. Uh, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try a Seto Corsa with the new T300 just to see how that feels. So I'll be back with that. 
So here's the last little um, video test, folks. Um, Assetto Corsa, um, the Red Bull Ring in Austria, uh, with the uh, custom shaders patch and everything, and Sol. You can see the lovely sort of stormy looking clouds drifting past there, fantastic. Um, Alfa Romeo 4C, which I'm in, and every other car is the same car. So we'll just have a little a little race round here. Um, I can't remember how many laps I've got it set to. I'm, I probably won't do the whole race, it's just to test the force feedback again. Well, six laps, I can see at the top there. Okay. Yep, a little bit of road feel coming through. Not nearly as much as Automobilista 2 there, but still still nice. Nicely weighted. I can certainly feel what the car's doing. Come on. Nice rumble strips there. Yeah, some nice effects under heavy braking. Feels really loading up round that that last right hander. Yeah, this this feels very nice as well. It's a very different force feedback wheel than um, uh, feeling than than AMS two. I mean, I guess you have to make some concessions for this being such an old sim, even though uh, the mod community keep updating it very nicely, but um, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as the modern day ones like ACC and AMS2. Still feels very nice though. And definitely a step up from the feel that I had in the G29 on on uh, the same sim here. A stormy looking clouds up ahead. Six out of thirteen. Yeah, the wheel complaining a bit as under heavy braking, as you would expect. Yeah, this is um, on first shot, very satisfying on the T300. Again, if any of you are watching who have got this wheel and have some really good uh, force feedback settings that work, do let me know in the comments. Oh. I got a bit squirrely there, but I was able to save it. Uh, so, here we go. Lovely. Uh, got 
got my breaking wrong for that one, but never mind. I'll see if I can get up into uh, first position. Uh, I won't actually finish this race, I just I just wanted to get the, the feel of the force feedback. But, oh yeah, the wheel <laughs> really complaining with my braking there. And it's so silent, you know, that's the thing I'm really noticing from the the G29 is um, silent mechanism with the belt. The G29 could be a bit sort of clunky and chunky, especially once um, it was being put under heavy, heavy feedback pressures and this is more like driving a real car. You know, this is the feeling that you get from steering wheel in a real car. Oh, he nudged, he nudged the back of me there. <laughs> and my back started to slide out. He, he nudged me and my back was sliding and I could hold it on the wheel. Again, not something that would have been terribly easy with the G29. This uh, Aceto Corsa is going to be one of my first sort of revisits on a regular basis um, in VR, I think. I've downloaded some great uh, mod tracks um, and some different cars and things which I'm quite keen to try out in VR just to see how it looks. Not necessarily race tracks. Um, I've got some nice free roam tracks, which will be interesting. all the rumble strip there. <laughs> there we go, we got into first folks, so I'll maybe wind up the video there and just have a final kind of summary after trying three sims um, with my new T300 RS GT. Um, but this was very good fun in Assetto Corsa as well. So here we are folks, the, uh, the old and the new. And uh, I just think, and I suppose the only thing I'm going to miss a bit about the old G29 here is the amount of buttons. You know, there's just so many buttons, I think uh, 14 I counted and not quite so many on the uh, the T300, but I can live with that. Um, this is the old wheel stand pro that I've been using. You can see what I mean about, you know, the center pillar gets in the way quite a bit. So I'm very pleased with this uh, new GT Omega stand. I'm not quite worked out what these little Two little holes are for behind the accelerator. Um, if any of you know, you could drop a comment for me. But yes, um, very happy with my new purchase. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of initial thoughts video, just firing up three sims and, and you know, not making really any changes and going in and seeing what the what the force feedback's like. Um, certainly as a step up from this G29. Uh, I was looking at the price, I think the G29 just now on Amazon is round about 220 and I paid a wee bit over the odds for this. I paid 399 for the uh, the T300 and the, the pedal set. So I'm hoping to recoup a bit. This, this is all up on eBay. The G29 and the Wheel Stand Pro. Um, but I think it was worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, I'm looking forward to tweaking the settings in all my sims. And I'll put some videos up about that. If I find any good settings or, or good tips, I'll share them with you all. Um, if you know any, stick them in the comments. Um, so, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed my um, sort of unboxing and setting up and trying it out. And onwards and upwards, let's hope these lap times start coming down. Okay, guys. Cheers for now.